city of Pune welcomed the professional golf tour of India in the third week of April as the tour's action-packed first leg of the 2017 season approached the summer break. The vibrant metropolis was all set to host the second edition of the Pune Open. With the prestigious Par 71 Pune Club golf course located in the centre of the sprawling city, providing the perfect venue. PGTI was making its return to the Pune Club golf course after a gap of five years with the 30 lakh rupee prize money event Pune Open. A strong field of 126 players was on show with everyone eager to end the first half of the season on a high. Leading the charge was veteran Mukesh Kumar. Having bagged yet another trophy the week prior to this event in Kochi, the man with the most wins on the PGTI was his confident self as he inched closer to his target of 125 professional wins. 100% तो मेरे को यही है कि मैं जीतूँ यहाँ पे भी ऐसा कॉन्फिडेंस फील है मेरे को अपना आप में क्योंकि गेम जब मेरा अपना होता तो वो अपना आपको बताता कि मुकेश जीत सकता है या नहीं जीत सकता अपना आपको कॉन्फिडेंस हो जाता है मेरे को मेरी अपनी हिटिंग के ऊपर मैं ज़्यादा भरोसा देता मेरे को क्योंकि चंडीगढ़ हरेंद्र गुप्ता हैड वन द पुणे ओपन इन 2016 इन ड्रामेटिक फैशन ऑन द फाइनल होल। विद फाइव टॉप टेंस ऑलरेडी इन द बैग इन द करंट सीजन, थिंग्स वर लुकिंग अप फॉर हरेंद्र, बट द टैग ऑफ डिफेंडिंग चैंपियन ब्रोट इट्स ओन सेट ऑफ चैलेंजेस। अभी थोड़ी प्रेशर है, जैसे कि लास्ट बहुत टाइप लिया अच्छा खेल रहा हूँ मैं और काफी अच्छी परफॉर्मेंस है। Giving stiff competition to the two stalwarts was one of the young guns, Udayan Mane. After the lackluster season last year, the 26-year-old roared back to form with a win in Dhaka in March, which helped him calm a few nerves. And a win here in Pune back in 2015 saw his name added to the favourites list. Last year I was just concentrating on winning. Uh, and I'd lost my way in terms of the swing and how do I get to a win. Uh, 2017 got me back on track with uh, focusing on you know, improving my ball striking, improving my chipping putting and uh, not just about winning. And uh, those things that I put together uh, in my game helped me get a win. So that's the approach uh, I'm adopting this year uh, and um, hoping for the best. Another winner in Pune, Sujan Singh, was also in the mix to repeat his 2011 performance. The Chandigarh golfer had a good start to the season with some solid finishes and he was aiming to put on a show here again. A lot of people have reminded me of my win and uh, it just improves the vibes that I go into this week with. And like I said, I've had uh, good memories here, I've played well, I've had quite a few top 10 finishes uh, on the Pune course here as well. And uh, I've been coming in with some good form. Um, I've worked on a few things um, in the last few weeks that we've had off. And I've been playing well um, coming in here. This month last year, Patna golfer Aman Raj joined the professional ranks at the Pune Open. The 21-year-old went on to back the Emerging Player of the Year award for 2016 on the back of some promising finishes. A year on, he has improved leaps and bounds and is now more confident on the greens. I'm comfortable with the atmosphere now and I'm comfortable with going on to my shot and not thinking about that, you know, like everything should be very, very safe. I'm more, I'm more like playing the way I used to play. Like, you know, I can go for the shots which I have taken, which I have decided, not giving it a second thought. So that's, that's the thing. That's the thing I'm, I'm having actually a lot of fun. The venerable Pune Club golf course was back in the professional fold after a break of almost half a decade. The 6,602-yard par 71 course had undergone numerous changes in the last two years and is now ranked as one of the top championship courses in the country. 
टू ईयर्स बैक वी थॉट मूविंग विद द करेंट टाइम्स वी शुड अपग्रेड इट टू एन लेटेस्ट थिंग्स वी एंगेज द सर्विस ऑफ मिस्टर फिल रॉन हु इज़ ए वर्ल्ड नोन आर्किटेक्टर गॉल्फ डिजाइनर एंड इन टू ईयर्स ही हेज मेड सर्टन चेंजेस इन द क्वाइट अ लॉट ऑफ चेंजेस इन द वाटर बॉडीज मेकिंग न्यू बंकर्स क्लोजिंग सम वाटर बॉडीज एंड द कोर्स इज प्लेइंग ब्यूटिफुली फेयरवेज हैव बिकम सो ब्यूटिफुल टू प्ले ग्रीन्स हैव बीन इम्प्रूव साइजेज ग्रीन्स हैव बीन मेड बिगर ऑल्सो सम ऑफ दैम एंड दे आर प्लेइंग सो प्लेन लिटल फास्ट एंड वी गेट द फीडबैक फ्रॉम द प्रोफेशनल्स दैट द दिस इज बींग दिस इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट कोर्सेज दे हैव एंजॉय Atriki course set up coupled with hot weather conditions put forward a stern test for the players in their bids to take home the Pune Open trophy. The opening round was characterized by windy conditions and the resultant high scores. At the end of the day it was Sudhir Sharma who took pole position courtesy of a resolute 4 under 67. Hit it really close and I uh, drive it really fine so I and made some good putt and just it was a decent start I got a really good start I made a good up and down from the left on the first hole and then I birdied the second and then I birdied the third and then I bogey the fourth then I again birdied the fifth so it was a it was a perfect start what I was looking for and that's why I made I hold some good putts and it, I shot four under A trio consisting of defending champion Harendra Gupta, Khalin Joshi and KPS Sekho were in tied second position at 3 under 68. PGTI Order of Merit leader Shamim Khan was bunched together with seven other golfers in tied fifth, a shot further down at 2 under 69, while Maharashtra based golfers Gurki Shergill of Pune and Mumbai's Anil Bajrang Mane were both in tied 22nd at even par 71. Tournament action continues on the other side and we talk to one of the budding golfers on the PGTI. Stick around. The Pune Club golf course was where all the action was centered in the third week of April 2017 with the staging of the Pune Open. PGTI rankings leader Shamim Khan and Angad Chima emerged halfway leaders after both shot second round scores of 3 under 68. The duo led the field by one stroke at 5 under 137. Angad Chima gained four places from his overnight tied fifth place as a result of his 68. Honestly I've been playing well. I worked a lot with my coach with when we had like these 3 4 weeks off. And we figured out something which I it's the same thing what I've been working on. It's just like it's probably settling in by now and I feel more comfortable with what I'm doing. That's probably why I can I can be more confident when I'm swinging the club. I've hit the ball great. So that's also because of my practice and my being comfortable on the ball. So that has given me a lot of birdie opportunities. I've probably hit 14 to 15 green board days. Like yes, I hit 15. I haven't counted the stats today though. So the more birdie opportunities you give yourself, the better chance you have. Shamim Khan, like Chima, also followed up his first round 69 with a 68 to move up four places to joint first. Shamim, who won the last PGTI event staged at the Pune Club Golf Course in 2012, made steady progress through the day. Aman Raj shot the day's joint best score of 5 under 66 to share third place with Khalin Joshi at 4 under 138. Rookie Viraj Marappa, one shot behind in tied fifth, was the other player who fired a 66. He shared fifth place with round one leader Sudhir Sharma and three others at 3 under 139. The cut was set at 2 over 73 with 54 professionals making it to the money rounds. Hi, I'm Viraj Madhava. This is my rookie season on the PGTI. The 11th season of the PGTI saw a few of Indian golf's top amateurs turning professional, and one of them was the country's highest ever ranked amateur, Viraj Madhava. The 19-year-old's initiation into the game came at an early age in Kolkata, but his picking up the clubs was nothing short of a random thought. I was a really fat kid when I was uh, young, and uh, the doctor told me 
to go and take swimming classes or go and swim at Tolligan's Club and uh, my mother luckily was a member over there so we went and I used to swim and I, I just hated it. So I used to go finish my swimming, go to the clubhouse, eat pancakes and then over there we saw uh, the members play on the 18th hole and then I just told my dad I want to play that sport. I didn't even know what it was. I told my dad I want to play that sport and I guess I just stuck with it since then. And the rest, as they say, is history. Viraj had a decorated run as a junior and amateur golfer, notching up wins regularly that saw him rising to world number 45 in the rankings. Till about C category, I was always in the, I was always in contention, finishing second, third, second, third, and I think in when I was 15 in B category, I won my first event, and uh, I think it was just like a monkey off my back, and um, once once that happened, I guess it became a habit. I started winning more often. Uh, I started taking that to, towards the amateur circuit as well. I won a couple of events over there. And the IGU has been very supportive. They they took me, they selected me for a lot of international events, which I'm uh, lucky to be a part of, representing India in a lot of events and a lot of very prestigious events like the Namura Cup, the Asia Pacific Amateur Championship. So the experiences I gained over there were quite uh, invaluable. One of the biggest highlights of his golfing career was becoming the first Indian amateur to play in the prestigious Porter Cup. I think we had a lot of the top players in the world over there and uh, the past winners over there like like, uh, like Phil Mickelson, Tiger Woods. So it was a special tournament to go to and it was in Niagara. So very scenic and everything. Uh, competition was really tough. Uh, courses, the course we played was, was really tight and um, it was a great experience. Uh, I didn't play all that great but I just had a lot of fun that week. The Kolkata golfer took the big decision of turning professional at the start of the year at the PGTI's season opener in Noida, an experience he will keep with him for a long time to come. It was unreal because I, since I was a kid, since I've played golf, I've always dreamt of becoming a professional and uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't actually the feeling that I expected, it was a lot more nerve-wracking, I thought I'd be used to it because it was just another tournament playing with just different people but I guess not because uh, I don't know the first the first day at Noida I still remember I was I was almost shaking over my first tee shot and I had to calm myself down I, I ended up finishing the round pretty well but uh, the first couple of holes were quite nerve-wracking yeah two finishes in the 30s and a missed cut would go down as satisfactory performances for any rookie but Viraj is eager to play better in the future and scale newer heights in the coming years. I want to uh, obviously try and get into all the big events that the PGTI have the rest of the season and uh, probably go for the Asian Talk Q School next year. Uh, play there for, a, for about a year or two and then uh, go on to the European Tour and uh, play there as well for a couple of years. And obviously the end, end goal is always to be on the PGA Tour and uh, being able to compete over there is nothing like it. Here in Pune, he was placed tied fifth after two rounds at 3-under, clearly his best ever start in the pro circuit and was hoping to end the week on a high. I feel like I've uh, I've played really good golf. Peter Green, I've played really well. Um, I've putted, I've putted pretty well as well uh, this week. And uh, I think I just need to stick to my game plan. I feel like my game plan is quite solid. Just stick to it and uh, just see how it goes. I mean, I'm in contention, but uh, I'm, I've been in this position before in an amateur golf, and I feel confident. So I'm just excited for the next two days. The rookie faltered a bit in the penultimate round as he could only manage a one under card to take his overall tally to four under and tie for the seventh place with four other players. It was Mukesh Kumar who stormed into the third round lead thanks to a dazzling six under 65, the tournament's best score so far, 
that moved his total to 7 under 206. Mukesh set himself up nicely for a come from behind win for the second week running. The man who broke his own record by becoming the oldest winner on the PGTI at Kochi last week produced a breathtaking round to move up 13 places from overnight tied 14th. After that, when I played for 2 hours, I told my brother to go to the game and don't attack any game. I played for the first shot, then I played for the second shot. There was no problem. I was like, I didn't have any trouble, 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 so I didn't have any trouble. I felt like my brother told me that my brother told me that my brother told me that I had a mistake. So the experience of this sport has more knowledge than my brother told me. The chasing pack consisted of South African Damien Nykert and Panchkula's Angad Chima, who were one shot adrift of the lead in tied second at 6 under 207. While rookie Nykert posted a 67, Chima came up with a round of 70. Shamim Khan, the joint overnight leader, shared fourth position with first round leader Sudhir Sharma and Samarth Dwivedi at 5 under 208. Last year's champion Harendra Gupta was in tied 12th place at 3 under 210. Pune's Saurabh Bhadudi was in tied 25th at 1 over 214, while the other Pune based professional Samir M. Sheikh occupied tied 43rd place at 5 over 218. It was all set up nicely for a thrilling end to the tournament. Final round action is up next. But before that, some off course fun with our version of the Pani Puri challenge. Par 71 Pune Club Golf Course played host to the second edition of the Pune Open in the third week of April 2017. Before teeing off the final round, we took two professionals out for a taste of some local cuisine and maybe throw in a mini challenge. Hello Mr. Aditya and Mr. Uh, Damien. I'm Chef Binod. Thank you very much for the invite. Welcome to Crown Raja Pune City Centre. So now I'm going to introduce the Puneri Pani Puri which is the very popular in the Pune Maharashtra. The Puneri means which is the Pune state and the Pani Puri means Pani means which is the water, the flavor water and the Puri means this one, which is the very good for health. This is the made by the whole wheat. For the health concerned people, they you can use these things. So now I am going to make the Pani Puri, Puneri Pani Puri. Basically, this is the stuffing, which is the made by the lentil, cilantro, mint and green chili. And I will go I will put some stuffing on that and uh, then I will just put some the fresh cilantro and uh, roasted cumin powder and uh, some sausages which is the mint sauce again the made by the fresh mint and coriander and lemon juice and this is the sweet tamarind sauce and uh, then do you have the two kinds of water one is the spicy one and another one is the sweet and sour so I will put the and I will just Offer you sweet and sour order because I hopefully you don't like the spicy. No, no, he's okay with spicy. Oh. No, I'm actually quite alright with spicy. Okay, just you should try the spicy one. Yeah, this is basically very popular the street food, the pani puri. You can add on so, this. Ah, uh, yeah. So this is the pani puri. So now we are going to do some uh, small fun with the pani puri, right. which is just for the 30 seconds. So whoever uh, will eat more within 30 seconds. He will be win. So guys, your pani puri is ready. I got my clock. So when I will say the start, you have to start. Then when I will say the stop, you have to start. So now start. So guys, it's stop. I think Mr. Aditya win the match. So congratulations. Thanks, it was very good. Hopefully very, enjoyed very the Crown Plaza Pune City Center. I was told by some of the guys before that it's going to be an eating competition, so I skipped breakfast, lunch. I told actually, I was actually told it was going to be a cooking competition. 
so I came prepared with the sleeves up and so he was going through YouTube yeah I was ready to put uh, recipes and how to make pastries and but <laughs> but uh, yeah I mean this was uh, pretty pretty fun and I, obviously I went up against a great guy so yeah we enjoyed it Back on the course on Sunday morning, final preparations were being made to put forward a tough challenge for the title contenders. One of the challengers to the leader Mukesh Kumar was South African Damien Nyker. Having started the day on 6 under at the tied second place, he dropped two strokes on the opening hole owing to a double bogey. Mukesh, who was gunning for his 124th title, recovered from a bogey on the second with back-to-back -back birdies on the third and fourth to move to 8-under and stretch his lead at the top. His playing partner Angad Chima gained a stroke on the seventh after his eagle putt here did not fall. A birdie here took him to 7-under, improving on his overnight score by a shot. Bengaluru's Khalin Joshi, who had already registered two runner-up finishes in the season, carded his fourth birdie of the day on the 11th to rise to 6-under and into the top five of the leaderboard. But the player who was making a charge of his own was Sri Lanka's Anura Rohana. The 43-year-old holed in five birdies until the 11th to take sole lead at 8-under, after Mukesh Kumar faltered on the 6th and 7th, slipping to 6-under. Another player who raced up the leaderboard with a scintillating round of 6-under was Udayan Mane. His bogey-free card for the day consisted of six birdies that catapulted him into the top five position with an overall score of 7-under. Rohana raced ahead of the competition with an eagle on the 15th, taking his score to 10-under. While a few holes back, Mukesh kept carding in black numbers as he was down to 4-under after 13 holes. Rookie Viraj Madappa, who was playing alongside Rohana, had a topsy-turvy round with a mix of six birdies and three bogeys that saw him carding three under for the day and finishing seven under overall for his best finish on the pro circuit. Joining him on that score was Damien Nyker, who managed to recover from his early hiccups to card one under in the final round and join Viraj and Udayan on seven under. The Sri Lankan suffered a slip-up on the 16th with a bogey, but on the 18th, he reached the par-5 final hole with his second shot to shut everyone out. After missing his eagle chance, he birdied the hole to end the day at 10-under overall thanks to a scorching 6-under round and all but sealing the title. Angad Chima, who was on 8-under after 17 holes, had to eagle the 18th to force a playoff, but he could only manage a par to end two strokes behind Rohana. Confirmation then of Rohana's come from behind win in Pune. 10 under is what it took for him to get back to winning ways after a victory in the Built Open in 2014. Khalin Joshi joined Angad Chima at the tied second place at 8 under after his 5 under round of 66. There was a three way tie for the fourth spot with Udayan Mane joining Viraj Madappa and Damian Nyker. Overnight leader Mukesh Kumar's disastrous 4 over final round saw him finishing at tied 11th with defending champion Harendra Gupta at 3 under. Then I'm coming to in the hotel, I was putting my locker the 65 today. I want to beat 65. I, if I want to go see, I can see 65 numbers there. And uh, I, was, I had a good chance to winning play shot today, hole number 11. I missed my shot on the first shot, about uh, 125 yards I hit. The three wood I had duffed it. And after that I had about 240 yards to the pin. I was giving, I was playing about, about three, four feet. I make birdie. That place I know I'm going to win today. I was playing this golf course really well and my putting is very strong now. This is the point. I was hitting good and uh, his putting is really good. I, was, I, I had a good feel with the putting. That is the point I had to win. What a fabulous effort by the seasoned campaigner, fetching him his first title in two and a half years.
that wraps up this edition of Inside the PGTI. Till next time, it's goodbye.